Hi, I'm Jim from ePass Performance. I'm getting ready to show you the install on a Gen 1 Camaro, and I'm showing you what you will receive when you order the kit. The kit consists of firewall plate, gearbox adapter, the steering adapter, the electric motor, and pre-wired module. First order of business, taking the positive side battery cable off, and then we're gonna move over here to the rag joint and take this locking bolt out. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna remove the steering wheel. Now we'll need to remove the firewall plate. Now that we removed the column from the car, we need to remove the ignition module and the dash bracket. There's a parting line in the steering column at 17 and 3 quarter. We need to cut the lower half of the column at that seam. Only metal thickness is to cut only this outer tube and then this outer tube and inner assembly needs to be pulled apart. Now that you've made a cut to the lower portion of the steering column, you'll need to hammer it out quite hard, and what it will end up being is all of this coming out. There's a piece left over inside the upper half of the column that needs to be pulled out as well. Once that is done, there is a hole that needs to be drilled. On the very bottom half, six o'clock at four and a half inches, and then the upper half of the column needs to be disassembled. Now that we disassembled the steering column, you'll be left with the inner steering shaft, which will need to be cut at seven and seven eighths inches. After reassembly of the upper half of the steering column, two holes are gonna to need to be drilled at two o'clock and six o'clock at approximately three quarters of an inch in. Once those holes are drilled, two nuts are gonna to need to be welded over top of the hole, paying in mind that you're gonna to need to use set screws in the end of this at a later process in order to stake the motor to the steering column. Now that we reassembled the upper half of the column, we need to assemble the motor and then put the motor assembly into the upper half of the steering column. Now that we slid the electric motor into the steering column and tightened the two set screws, we're gonna move on to the steering box adapter and then we're gonna to move to the inside of the car and install our firewall plate. Now that the firewall plate is in finger tight, we'll need to install the steering column in order to properly position the electric motor. Now that the steering column is in and the two nuts are tight, we're gonna have to position the motor, minding the brake pedal switch. It should tuck up nice and neat. Now we'll need to mark our timing mark. Now we're able to remove the steering column and stake the motor. Okay, now that we've removed the steering column and electric motor from the vehicle, we'll need to keep in mind our timing mark. And then on the front half of the ignition switch module, we'll need to be drilled for quarter 20 tap size and then staked. Okay, now that we've drilled and tapped our quarter 20 hole, we're gonna insert a quarter 20 bolt into the hole. 
and tighten it. Flip the column over. The two nuts that we welded on earlier will get two set screws. Now that the steering column and motor are staked together, we're going to need to put them back in the car. Okay, now it's time to reinstall the steering column with the electric motor on it. Now that the steering column is installed, the nuts are tightened, the firewall plate is tightened, the bearing in the firewall pl plate is tightened, we'll need to reinstall all the wires for the steering column. Now it is time to install the E-Pass control module. It consists of battery positive cable, ignition hot cable, potentiometer for steering feedback, torque sensing wiring harness. Where this gets mounted is on the firewall plate with the bracket that we installed earlier. Due to the fact of the placement of the firewall plate, we are unable to film the installation. You are gonna have to Put it over top of the electric motor and put it into the plate and tighten the two nuts on the lower half of it. We'll need to drill a hole in the firewall to exit the power wire for the electric motor. It is just a top of the exit of the firewall mounting plate bolt. Now that the wire is through the firewall, it's going to be, need to be tucked in tight, nice and neat, up to the battery junction box up here on the front core support. Now the battery source is hooked up in the engine compartment, we need to move in and hook up our ignition hot wire coming from the module. It's going to go over to the fuse panel into an open slot with ignition hot. And after that, the steering wheel is going to need to be put on and then we're gonna to have to go up to the battery and reinstall the battery cable, and then we can try our new system. Okay, now that we've installed our E-Pass system, we need to try the ignition hot to make sure the system works. There's the click. Thank you for watching our video.